Okay, just an update. I haven't been able to do a damn thing with the car. I actually got to finally take it out for a drive today. Um, so I got a little extra time. Um, I know I want to wait to change out that passenger seat. You know, to match that until I, I you know, I was wanting to wait until I built a subwoofer for the back there. But... With my time constraints right now, uh, with everything going on, you know, things are just kind of crazy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put that other seat in there and we'll get that in. And then that way, you know, at least I can match it and maybe I could try and get rid of these seats. I've been so bad <laughs> about not posting anything. Like I said, I have been just swamped with time and things going on in my life and everything. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that old seat out on the passenger side there, and then we're gonna replace it, you know, with that Fiero recovered seat. So, like I said, everything's just kinda, nothing has moved, nothing, nothing has changed. So I need to, I need to get that seat in. I mean, it's been long overdue. Uh, so we're gonna do that, uh, you can reference my video of how we're going to do the tracks and stuff you know because i already did that for that other side so it's about time so like i said i got time today so we're going to work on it today all right all right here's the old seat out so now that this is out uh I, someone cut that completely wrong so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and move this carpet over a little bit and, and stuff it under to get it up a little bit more I don't know if I can or not, but we're going to try and then maybe get some something to hold it down. Of course, the bolsters will kind of hold it into place, but so, yeah, whoever tried to put the, the carpet in didn't do a very good job at all. Uh, it's kind of funny how all this stuff gets underneath your seat. So I'm going to vacuum up this real quick and uh, before I get any further... And then I got the old seat out there. I'm going to take the tracks off of. And then I'll put the other track. Or the, the other tracks on the new one. Alright, so we're going to vacuum that up real quick. Okay, so these ones went on a little bit easier than the, uh, than the driver's side. Just because I knew what I was doing. So we got all that on. Got the side on there. So now we'll just throw it in. Throw it in the car, bolt her down, and then uh, run the seat belt through the, the section here. Hopefully this one's not as tight as the other one. So, all right. Okay, so the hardest part is getting that bolt started right there. That's the hardest one. So what I did is I put a tennis ball underneath this track right here. That way it gives me enough play to move the seat back and forth and try and align that hole. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that took me about 20 minutes just to get that hole started. That's the only bad thing about these seats is that they are very, uh, very tight, but they look damn good. So, all right, got that hole in. Now I'm just gonna button down the other three. The front two are easy, but this one's not too not too bad. This one's pretty easy to get to. All right. So just a little tip. That's what I did is I just put a tennis ball underneath there. So I'll take that tennis ball out, line up that hole, and go from there. Okay, got them both put in. Looking good. Looking good. So we can get a top view. Yeah, much better. One sits up a little higher than the other for some reason. Hmm. Uh, da, da, da. Ah, much better though. Interior looks way, way newer. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so now got that all done. I got my old seats here. I still got a 
fenders, and I, this is just stuff I'm, I need to try and sell. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to get to the woofer anytime soon. Uh, like I said, life's kind of catching up with me right now, so but that's okay. Yeah, it, it happens. So, all right, well, thanks uh, for watching me. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll uh, do some more videos here uh, shortly. All right, see you guys.